Thompson, and um, I have my degree is in early childhood education, and I have a uh, concentration actually in commercial art. So um, I used to teach art at Heritage Christian Academy. I was there for five years, and I always wanted to have my own art studio. So um, I finally, uh, in 2008, I opened my studio over at um, the Murray Business Center, and I was there for several years. And uh, due to health reasons of one of my children, I had to close for a little while. Um, and then I reopened back over on Lump Street five years ago, and I've been there for five years. I do art classes for children and adults. Um, and I do parties, and I do uh, paint and sip. I also do photography. Um, and one of the problems that I have is getting people to leave Newcastle and come around the corner. So I'm always doing things down there and trying to get people's attention. So like I said, my degree is in early childhood education, and I threw myself into business. And that's just been quite challenging. But um, I'm honored that I'm still in business after five years not knowing what I'm doing. I'm just kind of floating through. <laughs> And um, one of the visions that I have that I'd like to do is that I have a lot of children in the area that can't afford our classes. And I won't turn them away. I have them, they come into the studio and I um, let them paint, let them draw, or do whatever it is that we're doing for the day. And um, I would like to find local businesses that would be willing to sponsor a child for a month of work. Um, and I actually brought little gift um, certificates today if anyone would be interested in that. Any suggestions on getting people around the corner on the top of your second? All right, so how do you um, drive people to your Facebook page? Well, I normally I, um, I'll post things a hundred times and then I'll share them all in the groups. I'll tag people, um, like Kimberly, and uh, people that I know. I'm friends with most of the art teachers, so I'll share on their pages so that their friends can see. And um, that's kind of it. Right. Other questions? And let me bring a microphone to you. Questions, questions, questions. Hi. Other than Facebook, what have you done from a marketing standpoint to let people know that you are out there and you offer classes? I sent flyers home because I am a certified teacher. I've been allowed to send things home through um, the school board. So uh, I've done that in the past. I haven't done it maybe in a couple years because I was having some schools not send the flyers home. And they're really expensive to you know do all the printing and all the stuff <coughs> and not to be sent home. So I've kind of not been doing that. But that was pretty good with the schools when they were you know, actually sending the flyers home. But, um, I've been on the cover of Paisley Magazine, uh, and um, I'm actually in the Brussels News as one of the art teachers showing at the Ritz, so I'm real involved in showing my art you know, in the community too, some of my personal art. Um, two questions. Uh, one, w what's your real heart-driven reason for doing this? Is it because you're right brain and you love art and and you want to build art and show people art, or is it because you want to make money? All right, so I'm very passionate about art. Um, art is a way of expressing yourself. Art is a way of, um, I come from a very rough childhood, and art is kind of all I had growing up to, I couldn't talk about what I was going through, but I would express myself through my art, and it would help me to release those uh, anxieties and the things that I was going through. And um, it's been my experience through art education that the kids that are causing the most trouble in school are the most creative. And the kids that are um, going through a lot of stuff, and people I'm telling the children, that in this day, kids are going through things that are unimaginable. And, um, it's just kind of, it's been my heart, and the whole reason for me wanting to open my studio was to reach children. Um, and yes, there's there's kids that are just, that they're not going through anything, they just love art. So it's just fun for them, and, um, but the ones that are out running around, those are the ones that my heart's really passionate about. Second question, so 
it's apparent that really what's driving you is your love for art and, and the meaningfulness that it has provided you in your own life. And that's commendable and, and valuable. But at the end of the day, you gotta pay the light bill, you gotta pay rent, and you gotta eat. And so somehow or another, you have to figure out how to walk those two lines, how to, how to pursue your love of art and your, and your ability to distribute the passion for art, but at the same time, pay all the bills you have to. So how much of your time do you think you spend on the consideration of the money part? of the business itself? I mean, 50% of the time, 25% of the time. Well, what, what, what amount of your attention receives monetary reward? Um, I think most of the money I, I have, I'm just treading water, and I'm right even. I've just been kind of doing that, and um, lucky enough for me that my husband's a very good supporter and he pays all the bills, so he just lets me, he keeps asking me, when are you gonna go and make the paycheck? <laughs> Well, God bless you because art's a very valuable part of any society, and any society that doesn't have it is, is less of a society because of it, because they don't have art. But uh, it's people like you, though, that continues to distribute it, and you didn't, making money doesn't really matter that much. So, God bless you. So, you mentioned the, the childhood and upbringing and identifying that as as people who are especially creative and have a lot of potential, have you thought about exploring any partnership opportunities with local schools and at-risk kids, anything along those lines? Um, actually, next, uh, well, there's next school year starting next month. Um, I will be the art teacher at St. Francis this year. And um, so between St. Francis and Payment Point, I think I'm gonna have my hands kind of full but um, I do participate along with um, several other local art teachers in um, all the things that, you know, like the uh, Youth Art Awareness Month, and um, we got the Recycled Art. So I participate in things that are going on in the county. I Just another thought. Um, Safe Harbor, which is right down, which is right downtown, 
you know, that's a um, living facility for kids who are um, in a difficult situation at home and they always are full. And they're supported by a very active board of directors and um, they're consistently looking for programs and things for their kids to do. It's a rough situation for those kids, but that's a financially backed organization with a whole lot of kids that might need a program like that. I actually had um, contacted them through email, but I've never heard of it uh, from them. And being myself as a ward of the state of Florida growing up, uh, I can kind of relate to you. You should make a visit down there. Yeah. yeah, it's better to go touch the flesh than look at it. It's <laughs> under <laughs> Hi there. Uh, I think it's great what you're doing for children. That's wonderful. I have an early childhood background, uh, education background myself. But let's look at the other side. Let's look at the money aspect. Um, I've been a part of the chamber in Jacksonville uh, for over 10 years. Okay, And we have um, companies like yourself who do girlfriend nights with wine or Saturday. And you know that brings in the money. So while you're trying to fund this other side, you know, maybe look at that aspect, and you said you were on the cover of Paisley, but you know, that's a great place to market that to the woman there to come in and have a woman's night. Um, so, you know, maybe think about that and, and charge per person to bring them in. Actually, that's what's probably keeping my business up and floating right now, is okay. that I currently do, um, I do painting classes for children on Saturdays, and then I um, have different groups that come in. It's just not getting out there that I'm back here. So, not enough. <laughs> All right, another question or observation. You know, what do you do on first on first Fridays? Uh, do you come from away from the uh, corner and come to the street to show art, or what do you do to engage in that part of the city? Well, in the past, I have done uh, Alice in Wonderland shows, which that one was a really good one, and I decorated all down the sidewalk. I had feet print leading up to my shop with a big tree that was in the front. Um, I've had people play music out on the sidewalk. I've had um, uh, student art shows where they come up, you know, different artists, local artists that come and, and show their works. I have a wall, um, a gallery wall that show different questions or comments. Well, well thank you very, very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So we, uh